Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and look what I found at Walmart. That's right, it is a Harry Potter crochet kit and I am so excited. I saw this last week, there was only two and normally at Walmart it's you see it, you want it, you gotta pick it up right then and there, but I didn't. I didn't because I couldn't at the moment. So we went back on Friday and both of them were still actually there. So I had to pick it up and I am so excited to get into this crochet kit. And in the kit, it comes with the book that has all the patterns. As you can see, it comes with a crochet hook and it comes with yarn. So the yarn is Dobby with his sock and Harry Potter. The rest, you'll have to get your own yarn and do that from there. But let's get into this box. I am so excited. All right, first, can we appreciate this box? I absolutely love it. There's the golden snitch right here, and you can see the yarn, the book, and the hook, pattern book, I should say. As I said before, it has the yarn for both Harry Potter and Dobby with his sock. But it also has, I don't know if you can read this very well, but it says 14 magical projects from the wizarding world. And I'm assuming that every picture on here is going to be a project that is in the pattern book. So obviously Dumbledore, um, Hedwig, Hermione, Ron, Oh my goodness, my brain just literally, Hagrid, why, why, anyways, but let's, let's move on, we've got Snape, Hagrid again, Hermione, Dobby, Professor McGonagall, I, and yep, yeah, that's, uh, he who shall not be named, Voldemort, and then here's the back. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, we even have a dragon. Oh, yes. And that must be Ginny right here. Oh my goodness. And the sorting hat. Wow. Okay. So let's, it says grab your crochet wand and craft some magic. Crochet 14 magical projects from the Harry Potter films. Stitch up Hermione with removable school robe and scarf. Professor McGonagall with the sorting hat and even tiny adorable Hedwig the owl. Harry Potter crochet contains an illustrated instruction book that guides you step by step through each pattern along with materials to make Harry Potter and Dobby the house elf. Nine colors of yarn, embroidery thread, and crochet hook, stuffing, plastic safety eyes, and a yarn needle. Conjure up your favorite characters from the Wizarding World. Ah, yes. Let's get inside. I cannot wait. Really? There we go. Oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> first off look at these little mini skeins oh my goodness whoops look at that and then oh uh, yes okay yep that's just an empty spot this is your hook Let's see, can we see, it is a 3.5 millimeter hook. 3.5. These are gonna be small. And here are our safety eyes. Oh, it's taped on there. The safety eyes and the embroidery thread, but this, this is what we're after right here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you, Lucy Collins. All right. So here's your table of contents. It has instruction about the kit, 
um, abbreviation chart, notes and tools and materials, crochet stitches and techniques, embroidery stitches, a wand, oh, sorry, a word on wands, project one, Harry Potter, two, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, student robe and scarf, Dobby the house elf, Rubius Hagrid, Norbert the dragon, Albus Dumbledore, Albus, Albus, Dumbledore, Dumbledore. Yes, thank you. Minerva McGonagall, The Sorting Hat, Voldemort, Severus Snape, Ginny Weasley, and Hedwig. Oh, then it has an about the author and acknowledgments. Oh, man. Look at that. So amazing. I absolutely, oh, yes, yes, yes. It shows us how to do. Oh, there's Albus. There we go. Oh my goodness. Norbert. Oh, these are so cool. I cannot wait to get started. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's see. I'm going to try and do Dobby. That's right. We're going to do Dobby. Is it? Oh. And here is our stuffing. Oh, good. Yay. All right. All right. Well, that ended abruptly. Thank you, phone, for that marvelous interruption that I did not want. But anyways, I don't know what the last thing you saw was. I will when I edit, but we, here's our stuffing. And I am going to go straight to Dobby. And where is he? There we go. Page 32. There he is. The elf with the cutest little dog. It says it has his sock too. So I'm not sure. Oh, there's the sock. There's the sock right there. All right. So it has the instructions. Oh, and look, I just realized has a neat illustration of Dobby. And yeah. Let's see if we can't make Dobby. This is going to be interesting. All right. So it reads Dobby the house elf, a house elf for the unpleasant Malfoy family. Dobby does his best to help Harry when Lucius Malfoy plans to open the Chamber of Secrets in return. Oh. In return, Harry tricks Lucius into giving Dobby his freedom by presenting him with Harry's own sock. That is, I love it. I love it. And we all know that I don't read patterns very well, so this is going to be interesting. I hope Dobby comes out okay. <laughs> he should be three and a half inches tall when finished. Of course, we're going to use the light worsted yarn in pale peach. I'm assuming, is that this color? Does that look peach to you? I mean, I guess it could be. All right, so pale peach, small amount of black yarn. Okay, there's our black. And black embroidery floss for the mouth. Okay, we've got that in, in this little... All right, I'm gonna have to cut it out, but or cut the tape. But there's our embroidery fl floss and eyes and everything. And then stuffing, pair of green safety eyes, the hook, tapestry needle, and stitch marker. Um, you know, I don't know if it comes with the, and it doesn't say anything about. So this has got to be the peach. It doesn't look very peach to me, but it's a pale peach. And then this is his outfit, his little um, outfit. Let me see. Oh, it does. Okay. Let's cut that out. Cut the tape. Okay, just kidding. Oh, it's just stuck on there pretty good. All right, so in this little pouch, there is a needle. 
I'm not sure if there's a stitch marker in there or not. It doesn't really matter to me if there isn't because I can use safety pins. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started making Dobby. All right, so I unwound the uh, peach color. As you can see, it's tied right here and only in the one place. I don't have a winder, so I can't make cakes of yarn, so I'm gonna have to do this by hand, but that's okay. I'm just showing you what it looks like. We're gonna cut this off, and then I believe that's the start of it. No, let's see, where, yeah, oops. I just had it, there we go. There's the end. So I'm gonna have to figure out where it is and just start winding. Alrighty, let me get my cake done. Oops, I didn't realize I was still filming, which is actually okay, because if you saw, I actually did not cut that one part that was holding it together. That was actually the end here. And I'm gonna, there. So now I'm going to make my cake of yarn. <laughs> Oh my goodness. If you've got any tips and tricks on how to do that, because obviously I'm in a big knotted mess. So I am going to finish up. No worries. I will get it unknotted and Dobby will be made. He's just not going to be made today because I need to get this project going or get this project ended. Oh no. Oh no, I know. Oh no. What did I do? Okay. Never mind. I... <laughs> I just took it off my fingers and I didn't make sure that I had the end. So now I can't find the end. Yay me. I will say this. I am super, 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 super excited. I cannot wait to get my hands into making all of the characters. And I will definitely keep you posted. Dobby will come alive and he will be a free elf. So with that... I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know, are you going to go and find the Harry Potter crochet kit by it's Lucy Collins? Yes, Lucy Collins, not Collins, Lucy Collins. It was so much fun. It looks like it's going to be quite a task for me at the moment. Let me, let me, let me, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Yep, that's what we're looking at right now. Nothing like the life of a procrastinator. I will get it done. Dobby will get finished. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button and leave me a comment. What one, what character are you excited to make or excited to see me make? And I do, the yarn is, obviously I would say it's a DK weight. So with that, I will definitely do DK because it said it's a light worsted. So I believe that's DK. Um, anyways, are you going to make any of these projects? I bet you could probably find it online. I don't know. But this is the cutest thing ever. Look at the back. There's Harry with his head wig. Oh my goodness, so cute. Alrighty. Enough with this video. <laughs> if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads in my crazy, chaotic mess of a brain, and yeah, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. And with that, we're finally done. Today's video is done. I will get the rest of this unknotted and figured out but do please give me tips and tricks i want one of those windy things and with the umbrella thingy that opens up um i just haven't gotten one yet but in the meantime 
what are your tips and tricks on how to undo little mini skeins? Let me know. Now, with that, remember, gravity works, guys, and all my chaos.